I don't want to create a world where some small percentage of us gets to live 100 with health and the rest of the world is struggling. How do we do more? How do we do better? and how do we do it faster? 3.8 billion people on the planet have a smartphone. And if we pair a smart watch for that, we have a health monitoring system for half the planet. As healthcare innovators and healthcare leaders, you are central and so important to creating the future that we'd like to see in the world. So question is, how do you bring that to life? We're here at NextMed Health. That's a bit of a gathering of a tribe of folks who are instigators, sometimes mavericks, sometimes learners, sometimes funders, who are trying to sort of understand the challenges of today and solve for them. At this moment, this particular patient is flying over fjords in Iceland. But moments before we took this picture, he was doubled over in pain from sickle cell anemia. Now in 2013, if I told you that the killer app for low cost EG sensing was gonna be meditation, <laughs> you'd probably think I was crazy. Currently in healthcare, we sit in the clinic waiting for people to arrive sick on our doorstep. The pathological understanding of diseases has all been understood on a male baseline. Are we fixing the right problem? We have 70 plus faculty from all around the world sharing their great lessons and learnings and meeting each other and making sparks fly. You know, I'm not supposed to be here. Living to 120 or 150 is going to become commonplace for young people today. I decided that we could use light and sound instead of radiation, gamma rays, two-ton magnetic fields, holes in our skull with needles digging down into our neurons. Within our own lifetime, we can massively change the way we experience our body. And literally, that's the aha moment. How do we develop these technologies and do it in a way that humanizes us. Connection is the number one predictor of longevity after midlife. We knew that the only chance that I had at survival would be to identify an existing drug that could be repurposed for me. Oh, I think our talks are amazing. One of the things that I enjoy the most is the variety. I think this is possibly the best conference in the world. There's so much to do, it's hard to decide if you want to be in a main session, having your mind blown by incredible talks by amazing people and feel that vibe in the room, or if you want to be outside in the innovation lab, checking out new tech. In the evenings, you go to the beach, have dinner under the stars. You can actually have silent discos, karaoke. In the mornings, for example, you can have meditation with Swami. You can go and learn how to form magic, or indeed learn how to juggle, which I learned the other day for the first time. So it's that kind of creativity that comes out within the complex world of medicine. If we're actually moving the needle on clinical decision making, that's where the human intelligence and the machine intelligence working together gets pretty exciting. This is a gentleman who is paralyzed from the waist down, but he has an EEG device on his head, and when he imagines he wants to walk, that signal gets decoded by an algorithm, sent to this exoskeleton, and it helps to move his legs forward like this. And this conference is hardcore. There's a lot of real hard-hitting science that's getting exchanged. If you can read DNA, you can pretty much understand anything biological. Where the light hits the moving blood cells, the light ricochets, creating a different pattern on that red camera chip. Ultimately, at this conference, we're all solving the same problems, just in different systems. Oh, it's inspiring. I, think I like the whole intersection of purpose and technology, bringing change in healthcare. It's been absolutely incredible just to be able to meet other like-minded people who are super inspiring and want to change the world. All of the time we were being taught how to identify signs and symptoms from the perspective of white skin. But I would sit there in the lecture theatre and ask myself, if I had that same condition, what would it look like on me? It's phenomenal. Uh, it's always full of energy. You meet uh, great people. You meet some uh, future collaborators. I would probably say just, just go and do it. We can create a more equitable, healthier society. The only way to make it happen is together. We're going to keep chasing after cures, but we can't do it alone. We really, really need your help, and we need you guys to join us on this mission that we're on. Thank you very much for having me here. Come join us in the Next Men Health community. It's for all folks interested in reimagining the future of health and medicine. Please join us in 2024 for Next Men Health. Come to Next Men. Yes, where real magic happens. Yes.